Hey guys, it's Piper. I learned to speak from the back of my throat, like men do. Yay. Uh, I hit 50k, also yay, and I passed my sash test in Kung Fu, so things are going pretty well, actually. Um, uh, this video wasn't exactly planned, but sometimes shit ah! happens. Unlike with the Tim vid, I actually planned out the deep dive pretty well, so this video isn't some kind of idol. Oh my god, you all misunderstood me, thankfully. I just wanted to add some things. Ugh. My tongue feels very wet right now. Well, ugh. Is this what it's like recording sober? I mean, I only had one half of a beer, so that's basically sober. Okay, anyway. Firstly, let's get the more unfun things out of the way. In the interest of fairness, I feel the need to let you all know that Timothy Heller has defended herself against my assertion that she pretended to be transgender so Lil B would send her money. I mean, it, it wasn't a good defense, but she made an effort. Pause to read. Uh, she didn't tag me in this, but one of my friends noticed and sent it to me, and I guess she's hoping I'll address it, but it's kind of hard to tell if she really wants me involved or not because it looks like she's talking to me, but not talking to me at the same time. I'm just trying my best here. I mean, it would have been easier if she at least addressed me, but whatever. I thought about it for a few days and I still don't believe her. Uh, but on the off chance she's telling the truth, I decided to post her tweets anyway. Everyone has a right to defend themselves. But guys, in the future, if you have a problem with me, I'll be far more sympathetic if you come to me directly instead of subtweeting me and hoping someone notices you want to tell me something and that somebody will contact somebody who's in contact with me or however this happened. L legit. If someone didn't send me these screenshots, I wouldn't- I would have never known. I am not following her. Well, I guess I should explain why I don't believe her instead of just being like, guys, she's lying because trust me. I never liked that attitude some YouTubers have, but it's not just that I'm upset she didn't come to me directly. First of all, I didn't share an alleged screenshot, which is what she said. It's an actual screenshot that I assure you is 100% real because I didn't copy paste it from some other site. I took it myself. And the fact that she's implying I faked this screenshot is already rubbing me the wrong way since I would never fake a screenshot for any reason other than the purely comedic or educational. For fuck's sake, the URL is right there at the bottom of the slide. It's real, okay? It's also suspicious that she'd imply that it's not real using that manipulative wording but then proceed to talk about it like it's real. And again, it is real. I even checked the link. It works, guys. Also, the idea that there's a tweet that exonerates her, but it was deleted, makes me doubly suspicious. But I'm not going to waste my time verifying that statement. Because if there was anything that proved her innocence, she would have shared it, and my only concern is under the circumstances that I was wrong. Her claims that she's innocent because she's not a fucking idiot basically translates to believe me because I said so, seeing as how this is the same person who was dumb enough to accuse a superstar of sexual assault on a day when they didn't meet as opposed to one of the many dates they did meet. She's not exactly the Davinci of lying. And I doubt Lil B came out with a new giveaway in 24 hours while another one was still ongoing, so she was probably responding to the same one. At the bare minimum, assuming the absolute best of her character in this situation, she should have at least known how that tweet would have been interpreted before she sent it because of what tweet she was replying to and the fact that she's often mistaken for a trans man because of her name. If English isn't your first language, you may not know this, but, I mean, wherever you live, but Timothy is not a girl's name, and it's not a unisex name. Timothy is always a boy's name. So many people think she's transmasculine that she has it clarified in her bio that she's a girl named Timothy. I guess her mom thought she was really trendy or something, but anyway, if this situation was really just a huge misunderstanding, Timothy probably would have just said that instead of trying to imply I faked the screenshot to get people to doubt me. And since she's already a proven liar on so many counts, I personally do not trust her at all, not even slightly, including on this. I actually want to believe that she wouldn't stoop so low as to take advantage of someone like this, 
but the world doesn't work that way and her subtweeting me like this actually convinced me beyond a reasonable doubt that she really did try to scam Lil B or at the very least responded to that tweet hoping he'd misunderstand which, which is actually just a passive aggressive scam okay never mind it's the same thing <laughs> and you know since it's pretty desperate to hound someone for money like that anyway I can't come up with it any excuses for the way she's acting. Guys, I just, I don't believe her. I want to, but I can't. Still, I'm putting her response here anyway, so skeptics can't call me unfair or something. Here you go. Make up your own mind. Don't let me tell you who to believe. Now everyone has access to both sides of the story from the person who admittedly kind of started this. I mean, I'm not the first person to point out that tweet. But I did bring these concerns to light on a relatively small but still accessible channel. Now, if any Tim stands are ready to debunk my other hundred something points against Heller, you can go ahead and try, but you won't get very far. If I really am incorrect about her trying to scam Lil B, then I apologize to everyone I misled, and I apologize to Timothy for misrepresenting her on that one point, but for the record, I said what I said because I believed it to be true. I have no reason to make things up about Timothy to make her look bad because she always makes herself look bad anyway because she keeps telling lies to cover up her lies. Case in point, this mess. <sighs> Alleged screenshot, sure. That clause alone is enough to make me not trust her. <sighs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Here's three more points for other questionable behavior to compensate for those who feel like I didn't have enough to go off of for my other one. Why three instead of one? Because it's more fun this way, and the first two are new news to me, thanks to Nakimushi on Twitter. Number one, Timothy posted this on Facebook shortly after her accusations. This is a very petty jab at Melanie's tooth gap, something she was bullied for in elementary school. Keywords here, elementary school. 2. Timothy advertised her merch the same day. A smart move for someone who wants to capitalize off their allegations. And number 3. How did I forget to include Timothy showing her true colors when she mocked social repose for his music video content and the way he hands handling his own mental illness? A lot of you probably wondered. I didn't, it's just that my video was two hours long so I left a lot of stuff out. I have like an entire folder on my computer with unused evidence, but instead of wasting my time making a part two, it's more fun to just release it all bit by bit every time she pisses me off. Don't do it again. Dear Timothy, Timmy, listen, I'd say this in a tweet, but I'm worried you would misinterpret written word as sarcasm, and to be blunt, I know you watch my channel, so it's easier for me to say this here in an open letter. I said this before, but it didn't sink in, so I'm gonna say it again. I do not hate you. I don't even know you. I do not have anything personal against you. At worst, picking your false allegations apart is a game to me, like if Detective Pikachu was for adults and instead of Thunderbolt I have back pain. I'm rude in general, not just to you. I'm not a hater, right? can't even take your life seriously at this point, let alone hate you for them. And a small part of me wonders if I might have even liked you under different circumstances. After all, Melanie used to like you, so you couldn't have been all bad. And I don't benefit from people hating you. I don't want people to send you hate messages. My goal is not to destroy you. My goal is to share what I believe to be the truth and, again, clear Melanie's name. It seems I've accomplished this, so I'm ready to back off. I'm done. Everyone is done. You're the one who keeps bringing this up again, and it needs to stop. This isn't some abstract punishment I've come up with. It's the collateral fate you resigned yourself to when you decided to falsely accuse someone who everyone loved. If you want people to like you, stop making your whole persona about hating others. You're never going to be happy at this rate, and it's kind of depressing watching you do this. If you would only come from a genuine space, you have this platform full of young people. You could spread real awareness for what it's like to suffer from BPD. You could change their lives. You could come clean, tell the truth, and apologize. That would mean so much more to everyone if you came clean than just seeing you as a BPD stereotype who falsely accused a celebrity to get famous. Nobody sees you as an advocate for anything the way you're acting right now, and that's the harsh truth. 
I can't speak for everyone because a lot of people in the Melanie Martinez fandom felt deeply hurt by your actions, but I'd be willing to forgive you in exchange for the truth. I watched a lot of your videos, and a great thing I noticed is how you talk about mental illness like it's a normal thing, and you were right to do that, because it is normal. Back when you were doing that, that was good. And you can go back to that. I mean, sure, you weren't famous, but if you have the time to hate stalk and subtweet me, then you aren't famous now. On the contrary, this vulnerability you're showing is just proving to people that I was right. Listen, I asked people not to harass you, but I can't control them. If you want all this to stop, you have to tell the truth. The whole truth. That's just the only thing that'll get people to stop. It's not too late. It's like the old adage says, the truth will set you free. Just please, at least think about it, about how much easier your life would be if you just apologized for falsely accusing Melanie. I'm even willing to help you do it if you promise to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I'm offering you more than just a truce here. I am legit willing to lend you a platform, aka my channel, on which you can apologize and explain to everyone in a judgment-free zone why you lied and then you move on and live your life. I'll give you until December to think about it, so four months. You can go out on a good note instead of being, like you said, a villain on the internet. You're not going to get a better deal than this from anybody because nobody will ever be able to trust your friends. But don't even contact me if you're not willing to come clean. Unlike them, I'll tell you the unadulterated truth and I promise I will be sympathetic if you're honest, but only if you're honest. Oh, and no more subtweeting. We're both in our late 20s. I have an email address. Use it, please. I promise I'm not going to try to stress you out or whatever. I'll help you every step of the way because I just want all of this to be over. I expect you'll be suspicious, but I assure you I only mean to end this once and for all. Again, you have until December to begin negotiations. It's more than enough time for you to think about it. Just email me September through November, not August, and I'll give you a list of questions you can answer in a Skype session or something. It won't be live. I don't do live. After that, the offer expires. Don't do it for me. We both hate me. Do it for yourself. Do it for the truth. Sincerely, Piper. Well, that took longer than I expected. I admit I'll be shooketh if she's forthcoming and I anticipate being ignored, but if it means ending all this toxic drama, it's worth a shot. You all probably think I'm crazy for trying, but I'm sure you can, you guys can understand trying at least, wanting what's best for everyone and all. Man, I really hate doing this shit ah! sober. Okay, I took a break to caffeinate myself. Sober Piper sucked, so now I'm hype on caffeine, you know, the way God intended. What God you ask? Me. I'm that God. Okay, good thing I scripted this. Next, I've seen this comment pop up a few stray times. People were wondering, rightfully so, if I would sing. Since I showed a clip of a rather unfortunate Timothy Heller cover of Chris Isaac's Wicked Game with the following caption. I don't know shit about music, but this is not passion. Give me like a year to learn to sing and I guarantee I could shit out a better cover and even my own mother thinks I have an ugly voice. Yeah, uh, when I wrote that I thought it sounded self-deprecating, but it ended up sounding insulting. I do that a lot, probably since I'm a jerk by nature. It's a miracle I can sleep at night. Oh wait, I can't. As a lot of you know already, um, my mother is abusive and recently kicked me out of the house because I'm queer, so yeah, pretty deep insult. I have to stay hush. I was supposed to be out yesterday, but I'm still here surrounded by boxes because my father hasn't cl finished cleaning out a space for me at his house yet. Help! <clears throat> I definitely challenged Timmy there whether I meant to or not. It wasn't really a good move on my part, not because of what I said wasn't true in my opinion, but my hatred of my own voice is kind of, it's been a lifelong thing. I've always been passionate about music, I always wanted to learn it, but I've never been able to express myself with it. I'm not ready to talk about it. A lot of people involved don't even know I was hurt by their words or actions, but it's confession time. The saltiness, it didn't come out of nowhere. It's because I've always wanted to get into music, but the abuse and bullying I've gone through has made me passionately hate my own voice from a young age. It's raspy, but it's not cute like Melanie's or cool and gravelly. 
excuse me, hiccup, like Eric Burden's from the animals. It's crass, it's rednecky, it's way too high-pitched naturally, and everything I say feels like a constant battle to speak at a, a pitch that doesn't activate my gender dysphoria. I mean, I've made a lot of progress with my speaking voice, making it as low as I can without testosterone. <coughs> Army! <coughs> but... To learn to sing and lower my voice at the same time, that just sounds like some expert level shit right there. You know, my throat is always sore just from trying to change my speaking voice. So, I've always wanted to get into music, but I've been terrified to. But, a challenge is a challenge. I totally said I could shit out a better cover in a year. I can't undo that. I made my bed, now it's time to lie in it. I doubt I'll do Wicked Game, even though it's one of my favorite songs, and I'm, I was listening to it when I was writing this script, because it's a very romantic song, and my heart is, like, gilded in lead or something. I have never been in love. I am 27 and a virgin, for fuck's sake. Technically, I think. Do fingers count? Ah, who cares? And covering a song where I can't relate to the lyrics would be a huge mistake, but I'm sure I'll embarrass myself in July 2020 since I already resigned myself to it and since so many people want it. I guess I'll just have to look at it as a, a challenge that I have to overcome in order to be a stronger person or something, you know? I don't know what I'll sing because if I sing a song I love, I'll feel bad for fucking it up and if I sing one that I hate, I'll feel bad for fucking ah! up, never mind. <laughs> okay, but at least you'll see that I do love music, which was what I was really trying to say with that. I wasn't talking about Timothy's skill. I was talking about her lack of passion and her being, the fact that she isn't passionate, therefore supporting my point that she is a fame seeker and not a musician. I'm trying to be nice, but I don't know how to do that without lying. No, I don't like her voice. I guess that's it. I don't really have a lot to say other than book coming soon and I will be very busy this August working on it, so I don't know how many videos there will be. Um, my next video, the pre-order period starts September, so I have to really churn it out, but my next video will be an astrological reading for Melanie Martinez because let's just face it, I'm excited for K-12 and we could all use some great Mel content to tide us over for this intense August of waiting. <laughs> August of waiting. I make that sound so dramatic. Like, I can't even wait a month for a video and a, a CD. <laughs> it's, like, pathetic. Okay, um, after that, there will be a Q&A video, so be thinking of questions to ask me. Patrons get priority. Just reply to wherever I post this video with your question, and I'll either reply right there when I see it, or I'll let you know that I'll answer it in the video. Everyone else, tweet your question to at Piper underscore underscore Sweeney with the hashtag AskPiper2019. It can be about my book or anything really, so please rate, subscribe, and have a great day. And blessed be, motherfuckers. <laughs>